Tomahawk TV News, Montec County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. Welcome back to Tomahawk TV News. I'm your host, Victoria Destratus. And I'm your co-host, Caden Manish, bringing you the latest in local news. This week, we have a gaming review on Spider-Man with Garrett and Brady in this week's NHS Gamer. Then we have a meme this with Chris XL and Drake while they will be having a meme marathon. Be sure to leave suggestions for future memes on Twitter at MemeThis1. Following that, we will have our baking segment with the Cooking Chicks, Chastity and Brooklyn. This week, they will be making a no-bake brownie dip. Finally, our Indian Insight will be comparing shopping in real life versus online. Up first is our very own Tomahawk TV Sports with Blake and Paco with their input on our local basketball teams and NFL Super Bowl news. Welcome back to this week's segment on Tomahawk Sports. I'm Paco. And I'm Blake. And we're here to bring you the latest and greatest sports news of the week. In local sports news, the Nakona Indians fell short of a victory Tuesday night against the City View Mustangs. The final score was 43-47, to and this nail-biting game came down to the last 10 seconds. Carter Ford played a great game, hitting some threes when Nakona really needed them. Great job, Indians. In national news, the Super Bowl will be played on February 3rd, and like I said, the Patriots and Rams will be battling it out to see who's going to come up on top. The last time the Rams appeared in the Super Bowl was in the 2001 season, and like this one, it's also against the Patriots, and of course the Patriots won. Maybe it's time for the Rams to get their revenge. Tom Brady has already won five Super Bowls prior to Super Bowl 53, and he's going to try to battle it out against the Rams to try to get his sixth ring. In other NFL news, both the AFC and the NFC Championship games had some really terrible calls. In the NFC Championship game versus the Rams and Saints, the most notorious uncalled penalty was in the fourth quarter that potentially cost the Saints the game. As you can see here, Nickel Roby, a cornerback for the Rams, hit Tommy Lee Lewis in the air before touching the ball. The ref didn't throw the flag for the obvious pass interference, thus forcing the Saints to kick a field goal. In the end, the Rams won 26-23 in overtime. Now it's time for our Sports Fail of the Week. We're going to have to give this Sports Fail of the Week to D Ford. This play was a play that determined whether or not the Chiefs were going to secure a spot in the Super Bowl. D. Ford started on the line of scrimmage, which is an obvious offsides on the defense. If only he scooted back a few inches, the Chiefs would most likely play in the Super Bowl against the Rams. Well, that's all we have for this week's segment on Tomahawk Sports. Tune in next week for more national and local sports news. I'm Paco. And I'm Blake. Signing off for Tomahawk Sports. Hello everybody, my name is Garrett Stone, and welcome to the NHS Gamer. This week we'll be doing a PS4 exclusive that's taken both Marvel's and Sony's fanbase by storm. With great story and mechanics not seen in full since the PS2, Insomniac Games gives us Marvel Spider-Man. Now I had a lot of fun with this game. I played the game through on my own, and just for this review, I started a new game plus in the best Spider-Man outfit, the 2004 Tobey Maguire costume, in order to bring out my inner spider meme. Ah! Now what would a superhero game be without villains? And wow, there's enough villains in here to fill up a whole raft. And not like a dinghy, I mean the, the max security prison that for some reason sits right outside the biggest city in America. There's the Sinister Six, Scorpion, Electro, Rhino, Mr. Negative, Vulture, and Doc Ock, along with Taskmaster, Shocker, Devil's Breath, Sable's Goons, Escape Prisoners, and even Tombstone. All this together makes challenges big enough for the Avengers. Well, what's left of them? 
But to be honest, a lot of this stuff is child's play when you see all the web gadgets you can use, or as I call them, the wheel of overpowered crap that should probably kill people. You start with just regular web shooters that can web people to walls or floors, and eventually you get the impact web, which does the same thing, only it hits you like you owe it money. I think that's all of them. And from there, it just goes nuts. You have electric webs that gives your target a seizure, you have trip mines that grab your target and gives them whiplash, along with web bombs, concussion blasts, and all kinds of other things that make Kevin McAllister look like Wile E. Coyote. And on top of being overpowered, the movement mechanics are next to perfect too. OH MY GOD I'M FALLING OFF A BUILDING! You can't really run into anything unless you try. The game mechanics avoid most buildings and objects, the environmental interaction with your traveling flows great, and with how flush it is, you could go in the opposite direction of your objective and not even care because it's so fun. Now if only I could take pictures. Photo mode! Great for selfies, landscapes, or whatever else you want to capture. And because of the variety of suits, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man suit will always be the best, you can travel the streets of New York in whatever style you want. You know, unless you're an emo MCR fan that wants a symbiote suit, in which case... There's a reason it's not in the game, story-wise, but for the sake of not spoiling, I'll leave that for you to figure out. Now the combat is just what you would expect from a video game. Usually a big group of dudes pile on you while you dodge repeatedly and then hit them hard enough to turn them into a group of guys in demon masks into an army of Joe Swansons because you break their spinal cords. You okay? Is this what murder looks like? There's also stealth challenges in missions in case you're more of a snake than a spider. And there's even missions where you play as MJ and Miles Morales, running running through linear stealth missions. No no tension, just character development that probably could have been covered in one long cutscene. <sighs> Overall, this game is an amazing work by Insomniac. It's not only a revolutionary Spider-Man game, but it's a great superhero game in general. This has been Garrett Stone with the NHS Gamer. Thank you for watching. Yo, what's up? It's me, Chris XL here, and my associate, Drake, haha. <laughs> so Drake, what is our first meme we are going to be doing first? Well, Chris XL, more like XS, we are doing the You Will Die Bunny meme, but with rats. Here's the original meme. They are in the initial stages of teaching bunny rabbits that they will all die. You will both die. These are thrilling times. And here's our version. You are both going to die. Who would want to kill them cute things? Uh, not me. <laughs> Our next meme is the Uno comeback meme. This is the original meme. Uno! Draw four. Draw four more. Change the color to red. Draw two. Draw two more. Draw two more. Draw two more. Draw two more. Reverse back to me. Uno, Uno out. I hate you. And this is our version. Uno. Plus four. Plus four. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Reverse. Uno out. I hate you. I wish I had that kind of look. Now this meme shows a true friend. And now our version. Man, I need a friend like that, don't you think so? Dude, same. That's all for this week for Meme This. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Meme This One, and tell us what memes you want us to do. See, See you, you later! later. Welcome back to this week's segment of The Cooking Chicks. This week we are making a delicious no-bake brownie batter dip. This recipe has 117 calories, 6 grams of fat, 19 milligrams of cholesterol, 62 milligrams of sodium, 15 grams carbohydrates, and 1 gram protein. The ingredients we are going to need this week are one 8-ounce package of cream cheese softened, 
One fourth cup butter softened. Two cups of confection. Confectioners. I can't speak. Sorry. <laughs> Confectioner sugar. One third cup baking cocoa. One fourth cup of two percent milk. Two tablespoons brown sugar. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One fourth cup of M and M's minis. Optional. Animal crackers, pretzels, and or apple slices. So first, in a large bowl, beat cream cheese and butter until smooth. Beat in confectioner sugar, cocoa, milk, brown sugar, and vanilla until smooth. Hey, I got it that time. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> if desired, sprinkle in M&M's minis. We are going to use regular M&M's and do twice the amount required because we didn't want the minis. We just wanted the regular ones. <laughs> <laughs> because we're fat and we want our regular size candy. <laughs> Serve with dippers of your choice. We are going to use pretzels and apple slices. We used the apple slices because, um... I just started working out of the gym, and you know, even though I'm eating a brownie mix, I gotta be, like, low-key healthy. Yeah. Just a little bit. You gotta get them <laughs> squats in, I mean. You gotta get that protein from them apples and get a little bit of that vitamin. I forgot what vitamin was in apples. Okay. <laughs> that is delicious. <laughs> what are we doing? Thank you. Oh, whoa. Well, I'm helping everybody else out. <laughs> this is fantastic. Would <laughs> anyone else like to try it? Is it good? Mm. Oh, it's very good. That is delicious, let me just tell you. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, I'm glad. That's good? I'm glad. That's right. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Pretty good. Great taste. <laughs> the texture. Good stuff. <laughs> and Brooklyn. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is all for this week of the Cooking Chicks. Join us next time for more cooking. Hello everybody, I'm Blake Gona and I'm here at the Falls in Wichita Falls, Texas. I'm here with the whole Tomahawk TV news team and a few friends to do some on-location reporting. Wichita Falls is less than an hour's drive from Dakota and it has the closest shopping mall. So we're heading over to Sykes Center Mall to bring you a special look at online shopping versus real life shopping. We're here at Sykes Center Mall to answer an important question that we face today. With all the online shopping sites, what could possibly drive people to shop at a brick and mortar establishment like the mall? So from here on out, we have to film at our studio. We got kicked out of the mall because apparently you have to have permission to film on private property. After much thought and debate in the Tomahawk TV newsroom, we have finally decided the top five reasons to, that people still shop at shopping centers instead of the internet. Anytime you go anywhere, there's a certain amount of unknown factors that you can't get from sitting behind your computer. There's always the weather, the walk, the drive, the smells, and even the camaraderie of those with you or around you. Sometimes you may not know what you want or you need until you're exposed to it. Now putting ourselves in an environment like a store where we can't control what we're looking for with a search bar and a swipe by feature allows us to see things we didn't even know existed. There's definitely something to be said about the items you're looking for in person. Clothing, for instance, can be tried on for fit, comfort, and style. It's also nice to have a first-hand look at electronics to make sure they work and look like they do in the commercials. There's no wait time. You could literally pay for it and never wait on shipping. Pretty cool. It's really about the whole experience. It makes a fun day with your friends or family. Plus, there's a food court. You just can't predict what's going to happen on this trip. She fell like five times. <laughs> like I said. It's definitely not the same as saying, hey, we're going shopping, everybody, and then just going on the computer looking through Amazon. Well, there you have it. While the online shopping world is trending, actually leaving your house for shopping needs is still a part of the lives of many people. This segment was brought to you by the Tomahawk TV news team from Nocona High School. The only newscast in Monte County. Well, that's all for this week's Tomahawk TV news. Be sure to tune in next time for more sports, gaming, reviews, memes, cooking, and local stories. Thanks for watching.